So the thing in 4K was finally released. And I still have not uh, pre-ordered any of them. I still have not picked up anything. I'm still, you know, really undecided. Again, when the features were revealed, I was a little unimpressed and kind of thought, and I think we mentioned that I wasn't going to pick this up unless immediately unless the features were great. And because they're not, I kind of wanted to see what it actually looked like. Yeah, unfortunately for me, and I'm a, a huge John Carpenter fan, um, same. Yeah. I felt like this beyond the scan, there were no new supplemental features. I also feel like this is a title I'm kind of getting. I feel like it's released every month almost. It's yeah. almost to the point of where I, the market has been flooded. Right. I don't know which edition to pick up at this point. And I feel like whichever one I do, there will be an upgrade in the immediate future. So. Yeah. Now the, that's finally released, some of the screenshots have been released, and I'd like to like share that now just to see if anybody else was still on the fence like we were, what it's kind of looking like. And we'll probably try to bounce between the 4K versus the original Shout Factory U.S. Collector's Edition, which is the one that I own, and then we'll take a look also at the U.S. 4K remaster that Shout Factory put out a year or two later that we also talked about. Here's a picture of the dog, and this is the U.S. Collector's Edition that we both own. Um, and then when you move over to the 4K version, it looks to me like things get a little whiter, like a little bit on the brighter side, but it looks like just based on these pictures, some grain maybe goes away and yeah, some finer detail smoother. almost kind of goes it's away smooth. on the dog's fur, you know? this It should be the reverse, like this is the 4K and this is not, you know, like this seems more natural in tone. This seems a little bit brighter white with things that are smooth, I don't know. So here is the 4K remaster. That, that almost looks like the whiter version that we just looked at. Yeah. So I don't know, I think I'm liking the 4K version over this 4K remaster. It's weird because the hue changes and I feel like I need to see that in motion. I feel like I need to experience like five minutes of this. I don't know, just going by this picture, especially just this picture of the dog. Let's take a look at some of these special effect shots. All right, this is some, some close up of some blood. So this is the US collector's edition version. And then there's the 4K. I don't know, it's it, like to me, it just looks fuzzy again. It looks yeah. like a little bit fuzzier, just like a little bit. You know, like even look at the reflection on this blood here when this is the this is the 4K and that's the HD. It just comes in just a little bit clearer. And even the hairs, I feel like I see a little finer on that. I don't know. And then this is the 4K remaster. So honestly, it looks like to me that if you bought this 4K remastered version, you need to upgrade. If you got the collector's edition version, you keep where you're at. Keith David, here he is, him and, him and McReady. And this is the... The regular version, the collector's edition version, and then here's the 4K. Every time I look at the 4K versus the collector's edition version, it looks like the 4K is smoothing things to me. That's mm -hmm. that's what it looks like. It just looks like it's smoothing. So this is the 4K remaster, and this is, yep, look, look at the door here. It's blurry, and mm -hmm. then it gets tight. So this is the collector's edition version, and then here is the 4K version. Now, I will say this looks like maybe a little bit more the smoothing effect here or the way that the light gets a little bit more dampened. I think I like this a little bit more. I can see more of the scene now all of a sudden. It's not as blown out looking. That looks more like a flare though. Here, yeah, like, I mean, it really flares up everything. And this, it kind of is subdued a little bit more. I see what you're saying. And that's kind of why I'm on the fence still. I feel like yeah. I need to see this in motion. Yeah, And the true. thing is such, is a t the type of film that's a vibe. It's like, I, I, I mean, True. I can see differences here, but I also feel like I need to experience a little more. Here's the 4K remastered version versus the collector's edition version. They've already subdued theirs. And then here comes 4K on top of theirs, makes it even a little bit yeah. more. But they just keep on going that more subdued route, it looks like. I don't think that this is going to be one that I'm going to be picking up based on this at all. I mean... I missed out on that collector's edition that came out from Universal. I might have been happy to have that just because it's a nice set and just to upgrade the thing, but I'm not going to go get a regular edition of this. I'm not going to get no. the steelbook of this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll wait till some other new mm. transfer, new set comes out. This is, I'm good. If anybody out there has these same releases as we have, you know, maybe consider, do you need this either? It looks like if you have the collector's edition, you don't have anything to worry about. If you have the steelbook version that came out, maybe you might want to consider it, but sad sad for this one it's been so many that we've done that i feel like really made an, uh, an upgrade uh, unlike you know who cares about scott pilgrim but the thing that they should have had something more they should have got something better you know they and they did it and that's a shame but as i said it's a title that'll just perpetually be released and re-released as long as physical media exists 
Which yeah. is a good thing, because I guess it's one of those titles that keeps it alive. Yeah. But uh, I'm fatigued. That's a hard pass, <laughs> I don't Yeah. at this point. Evil yeah. Dead Syndrome. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So you guys make up your minds. Let us know what you do down below. Thank you.